that the hour shall be done unto thee, thou false tongues, sharp bells, and the binding with cones of juniper. Woe is me that thou shalt shun the Meshach, that I dwell in the tents of Kadar. My soul of long dwelleth with those that hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. O Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, O Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, share to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, and render a reward to the Luciferian Satanists and atheists. Yahuwah, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph, how long shall they have to speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? They break in pieces thy people, O Yahuwah, and afflict them heritage, they slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless, and yet they say, Yahuwah, show Yahweh, shall not see, and neither shall the power of Jacob, Yahweh, regard it. Understand, you British among the people, and you fools, when will you be wise? See the plan of the Ear shall he not hear? He that form the eye shall he not see? He that chastises the heathen shall not he correct? He that teach a man knowledge shall not he know? Yahweh nor the thoughts of man that their vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Yahweh, and teachest them out of thy law, that thou mayest give a rest from the days of adversity until the pit be dig for the wicked. For Yahweh will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all of the upright and heart shall follow it. So who shall rise up for me against these evildoers? Who will stand up for me against these workers of iniquity? Unless Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh, she had been my help, my soul will almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, the mercy of Yahweh held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts are they me that comforts to light my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity, shall the throne of Luciferianism have fellowship with thee, which remit mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But Yahushua, Yahweh, she is my defense, and Yahweh is the rock of my refuge, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah, Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, she shall cut them off. Hold not thy peace, O power of thy praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue that compass me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love there are my adversaries when I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded my evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou wicked men over them and let Satan stand at their right hand. When they shall be judged, let them be condemned and let their prayers become sins. Let their days be few and let them never take their office. Let their children be fatherless and their wives widows. Let their children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that they have, and let the strangers spoil their labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto them. Neither let there be any to favor the fatherless children. Let the posterity be cut off, and then the generation follow, and let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of their fathers be remembered with Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahushua, and let not the sin of their mothers be blotted out. Let them be before Yahuwah continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth, because they remember not to show mercy to persecuted poor and needy people, that they might even slay the broken in heart. As they love cursing, so let the curses come upon them. As they delighted not in blessings, so let the blessings be far from them. As they clothe themselves with cursing like with their garments, so let it come into their bowels like water like oil into their bones. Let it be unto them as a garment which covered them for a girdle where they girded continually. Let this be the reward of our adversaries from Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh, Sheh. Let this be the reward of them to speak evil against ourselves. But do thou for us, O power and a master, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou us. For we are poor and needy, and our heart is wounded within us. We are gone like the shadow when it declineth. We are tossed up and down as a locust on knees, a weak profession, and our flesh fell in a fatness. We became also a reproach on them, and looked upon us, they shake their heads. Help us, O Master, our power. O save us according to thy mercy, that they may know that it is thy hand, that thou, Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, have done it. Let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let us, your servants, rejoice. Let our adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahweh, with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at our right hand, the right hand of the poor, to save us from those that condemn our souls. Our Father, Yahuwah, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we too forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. When you say that you're sorry, when you say that you forgive people, when you forgive enemies, when you forgive devil worshippers, when you forgive these evil people, what you're doing is you're bringing attention to them. The Heavenly Father ignores those demon worshippers, but when you forgive them, you bring an attention to them, and then when he sees how evil they are, he not only does not forgive them, but he kills them. The Gospel according to Mark. Mark chapter 1. The beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send a messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the This is where we push the laws of physics. See, the technology we make is what makes the impossible possible. That doesn't stop there. Get ready, our most popular battery is even more powerful. The stronger, 
lasts longer in Energizer Max. One thing that a lot of people fail to realize is that God has a plan for his church. God has a comprehensive program for his church. One of the highlights on God's program for his church is the rapture. There are many who are missing the blessing of the rapture because they argue that the word rapture is not in the Bible. However, the doctrine of the rapture is definitely in the scripture. Paul gave to the church of Thessalonica a wonderful prophetic jewel that shines bright in the life of every believer. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 through 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Now, initially, when I became a born-again child of God, I was fascinated with eschatology. All that eschatology is, is the study of last things, the study of the last days. And the topic of the rapture really drew me in. And I don't know why, but I had so many preconceived notions that before the rapture, something cataclysmic would happen. I mean, after all, the rapture is quite literally the disappearance of a large portion of the world's population. But I want you to envision the 24 hours leading up to the rapture. I'm going to present two scenarios. The first scenario is of the rapture happening on a particular night and there are tremendous number of cataclysmic signs. Worldwide, there is a tremendous number of natural disasters happening all across the world and there is a real apocalyptic atmosphere to the world. Hurricanes breaking out in one part of the world. A monster tornado happening in another part of the world. and red mist covering the streets in another part of the world. And people all around the world will begin to repent out of fear of what is happening in the world, and then the rapture will happen. The second scenario of the 24 hours leading up to the rapture is this. People living their normal lives, going to work, going to the gym, going to the cinema. The Bible tells us that the 24 hours leading up to the rapture will be completely and utterly normal. Nothing extraordinary will happen or will be happening. Matthew chapter 24 verses 37 through 44, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a handmill. One will be taken, and the other left. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch, and would have not let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. This is it. This is the point of this message. The 24 hours leading up to the rapture will be completely and utterly normal. The people in Noah's day are a lot like the people in our day. They are living life, enjoying life, without a care of eternity. The people of Noah's era were leading completely normal lives. Nothing out of the ordinary was happening. Everyone was doing what people